Today we'll take a look at a more unpopular tool in Resolve because of its somewhat confusing functionality, but nevertheless a tool that can help you achieve stylistic looks, correct that nuclear neon green foliage to look more real, and loads of other practical uses. The RGB mixer lets you add or subtract certain amounts of colors from one channel to one of the main RGB channels interactively. If you're coming from a photography background, it's similar to the channel mixer tool in Photoshop. The interface has three groups for each channel, red, green and blue, with an output slider for each channel respectively at the default value of 1. These three main sliders are similar to the printer lights where you control the gain for each channel. Until now, nothing new yet. The other two sliders per group control the contributions of that channel's group output we're mixing into the other two colors. Think of it as one color channel borrowing from the other channel. Like here, we're borrowing from the red channel and sending that to the green channel making it yellow. Let's call these borrowing sliders. You can also see the behavior in the waveform or vector scope where the green is being pushed towards the yellow because of the borrowed red while the red and blue remains untouched. Or borrowing from the red channel and adding that to the blue, turning it into purple. This can quickly become overwhelming, but let's see what we can actually do with the RGB mixer. Fixing white balance. The RGB mixer can be very effective on clips shot with the wrong white balance, like this one, which leans on the reddish side, as we see in the vector scope. Start by adding or subtracting the main RGB outputs. If you need more fine tuning, use the borrowing sliders to borrow some of the channel's output, like in this case, we're borrowing some blue and pump it into the red areas of the image. And let's counterbalance that with the green and red. Same in this case, we're borrowing some blue and inject it into the green areas to add more minty nuance to the leaves. Use small value increments on the slider since a little bit goes a long ways. And a quick tip here, if you have a mouse with a middle wheel, you can alter the values by hovering the mouse cursor over the sliders and rotating the mouse wheel to change the values. Fixing neon greens. Here we're going to use the RGB mixer to reduce the brightness of certain colors or adding more density so our footage doesn't look so digital. Create a node and set the color space to hue, saturation and value or HSV. This will change the main output sliders of the RGB mixer to control the hue, saturation and value or luminance. Now use the green slider of the blue output to reduce the brightness of the greens and yellows. This will lower the exposure of the entire image, so compensate by increasing the blue output until your image is balanced. Skin Tone Brightness You can also bring the skin tones up in brightness using the RGB mixer in monochrome mode. After you're done your primary adjustments, such as overall exposure and contrast, create a serial node, then add a layer node and change the composite mode to luminance. Select the bottom layer and in the RGB mixer, check the monochrome box. Now bring up the red output to increase exposure to skin tones. And then bring the green output lower to add some density to the foliage. Day to night. You can also use the RGB mixer to give the appearance of nighttime to a clip shot in the daytime. Add a serial node after your primary adjustments, uncheck preserve luminance, then reduce the channel's output until your scene starts resembling nighttime, which usually looks bluish and underexposed. Now go to your primary adjustments and fine tune the exposure and contrast until the scene looks believable. Be mindful of keeping a natural look instead of pushing it out of control. Underwater balancing. Balancing underwater footage with the usual primary tools can be tricky since typically there is almost no color information in the red channel. After you've done your primaries with just some basic exposure and contrast, you can use the RGB mixer to borrow luminance data from the blue channel and send it into the red channel to balance out your shot. Fine tune the green output if needed and finally adjust exposure and contrast on the primary node as needed. The RGB mixer is one of those tricky tools that needs to be figured out by a lot of trial and error, but one that packs a lot of control over the look of your image. Like with everything, the more you use it, the more you will understand the behavior and turn it to your advantage. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll read each one of them. We have tons of other material on our channel on this topic, so please make sure to check these videos out. 
My name is Gabi Bukataro for Stocks United and if you found this material useful, please leave a like, subscribe if you're not yet and make sure to hit that bell so you'll get notified each time we're posting a new video on this channel. With that, I'll see you in the next one.